of something? Ain't no way. We gotta stay on this side of the road for now. He got hit by a car! What, that's not an achievement in this one? It was in the last one I applied. Mega Swing. Learn new skill. this in the trash over there. Got them all. One hit. Nice. Oh. Yo, there you are. You okay? You look sad. Oh, Casca. Um, it's Miss Mal. Today's the day she leaves for New York. What? Already? What about the tiara? Hmm. It's not sold out, at least. Um, sniff. Tony? I couldn't get it. I didn't make enough. I worked so hard, but it's not enough money. I wanted to make her some mile. Just one last time. Now I'll never see her again. Tony, no one deserves to come up short like this. Don't worry, kid. You did more than anyone else could have. I could pick up the slack. Hey, Tony, it's okay. Let me... Tony, hmm? Hmm? Uncle? Huff, huff, here. This is all the money I took from you. I said it was for booze, but uh, actually I saved it. I was just trying to, you know, plan ahead for a rainy day or what have you. Especially since you were being so re responsible. And I was just, um... He's out of breath. What's he been doing? Running across town, cashing in every favor he could? Uncle? This is... This is more than I ever gave you, though. Is it? It is? Well, uh, how about that? Maybe I, uh... What you call it? Invested some? Yeah. Made even more back. But look, it's all yours. Take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Think you believe me? Oh, I almost do. Guess I was wrong about you. I'm sorry. Nah, you are 100% right. Bullseye. But I don't want you to be. From now on, I'm going to do what I can to be a little bit more like this kid I know. Oh, I'm not crying. You're crying. Mm, good luck. I got it, Uncle. Casca. Totally. Nice. How about I buy you a cab ride to the airport? You got this, Tony. Okay. Man, I love it when people turn around and turn into good people. Give up their bad people ways, you know? Miss Mel! Tony! Is that really you? Yeah. I'm so <coughs> glad you're here in time. Oh, me too, Tony. It's very nice to see you again before I go. Thank you. Miss Mel. 
Here, look. Hmm? It's, um, a going away present. This, it's from the store I like. Don't tell me. This is why you were selling lemonade? <laughs> so, are you happy? Tony, I... Yes, yes, I'm very happy. <laughs> this Mao, you're squeezing me. Squeezing him like a lemon. So, does it look good on me? Yeah, you're really beautiful in it. You're gonna be the prettiest girl in New York. Tony. I'll we'll have to go to the store before long. Food, okay? I'm going to keep going as long as I can now. Don't stay up too late watching TV. And... And... It's alright, Miss Mal. I know what to do. And I won't be sad with you gone. I'll still eat my vegetables. Promise. I'm going to grow up to be the kind of man who never has to say goodbye like this again. <laughs> All right, Tony. You're going to make a lot of people happy someday. <laughs> now, it's time. Oh, okay. Bye for now, Tony. Thank you for everything. This tiara will always remind me of you. Mm. Goodbye, Miss Mel. Take care. Oh, he's crying. I'm proud of you. Great work, Tony. All right, here we go. I think that's it for the sub stories right now. So that means it's time to go this way. Well, it's rude of you to pry. Okay. get this briefcase all right we're gonna save because we're advancing the story now this is it kiryu -san. You're sure this is the place, Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. Might have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home?
It's just the same as it was that night. Here you son. You find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? You're sure this is Akane-san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but... How about this, then? Is Akane-san the woman in this photo? What the...? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. But wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san is that someone. Oh my. What? You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom? I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <sighs> Mmm, here we go. Oh, look who it is. Yamai, what's she doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii, at least in the underworld. Well, seems we've got company. Nice ride. No, don't come up. Come up. No! I knew it was going to do that. Shame I have to do that. Go. Tommy Zawa. Don't disappoint me this time. I, I, I won't. We're doing this. <laughs> Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu-san? Not to No. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Uh, Kiryu-san? Mizawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put, all right? If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. Well, come with me then. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? Uh, hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamai? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I say you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man. If I back out now, he'll kill me. You don't know him like I do. Oh, yeah? 
We can help you. <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah! Help him! What? What'd you say? I said, we can help you, and I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Believe me, though, I've been there. Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. Thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> Had a boy told me so, huh? That's more like it. Let's see who we're dealing with. Oh, this fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. Tell me so, huh? Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. Mm, boss? <laughs> no, perhaps not. Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two. Tomizawa! <laughs> Some choices you can't undo. I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight. For the rest of your life. Huh. <laughs> and three. Yeah. Ooh, we missed. Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would shot him! <laughs> hey, but you didn't, alright? Now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Right on! Come on! Let's get this over with. Okay, boys. Listen up. Hey, Dust Broom! I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, fix that in a second. Oh, it's going pretty good. Pretty good. I'll turn up the game audio in a second for you. I appreciate you telling me. Hammer. He's using a wrench. Follow my lead. Oh, it's going pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, I can't turn the, can't mess with the volume just yet, but I will in a second.
Come on, get in. Uh, okay. What you been up to, uh, Dustbroom? Lots of working, I hear that. Been enjoying any games recently? I was right. I knew it was you. Kazuma Kiryu. You're alive! The dragon rears his head once more! Ooh, he knows who he is. Originally, Yamai was in the Tojo clan, as part of the Tabata family. Tabata? How come that's not ringing a bell? They dissolved around when you swore up, and their members all went to other families. Oh, yeah, that happens. The Daidoji faction told me about him before I left Japan. The main reason the family broke up is because Yamai killed Shuji Tabata, his patriarch. It was patricide? Not really, just... Putzing around Minecraft. Well, that's all in the past. Oh, I, oh, I hear you. I, 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 don't accuse you or anything. I don't exactly have to drive for Minecraft anymore, but the look of it. The murder sometimes mod packs, you know. Hard to imagine your mind being passionate about anything. That's what the police said, anyway. Apparently, Yamai had feelings for Yui Tabata, the patriarch's wife. No wonder that didn't end well. Yeah, and when her husband found out, he got into the fight that ended his life. Yamai then tried to assault Yui, who was present at the scene. After the dust settled, she testified everything he'd done to the police. What happened to him then? He was branded a traitor to the Tojo clan, and everyone went after his head. But by then, he'd up and disappeared. Nobody'd seen him since. Years later, he surfaced over here in Hawaii. While back home, the Tojo clan was crumbling. Guy's got a hell of a backstory. By the way, why'd he show up at Akane-san's in the first place? Uh, we were supposed to grab her, or at least you know, turn the house inside out looking for clues. I don't really know any more than that. So one thing we know is Yamai's definitely after her. The hell would the Yakuza want with Akane-san? If I had any idea, I'd tell you. But like you said, the boss is the one calling the shots. All right, before my brain explodes, let me just lay this all out here. I started off by visiting Akane-san at her house, right? Uh, but instead of seeing her, I met a girl named Chitose. I thought she was her maid at the time. At first, I thought she was cool. But that was before she got me drunk, took my clothes, stole my wallet, and tossed me on the beach butt naked. Then, after waking up with sand all over my junk, I got arrested. They were gonna blame me for all these crimes I didn't do, but I escaped. That's when I ran into Kiryu-san. After catching up a bit, we went back to Akane-san's house to find clues on Chitose. But then Yamai showed up, and now we know he's after Akane-san too. Oh, and that's not all! That night, Chitose said Akane-san would be back the next day. But we were just there. And she was nowhere to be found. So for some reason, Akane-san's been in hiding. And since she wasn't home today, she's either still on the run... Or she's already been found. And since it's not by us or Yamai, then is somebody else after her too? I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Damn it! What do we do? If Akane-san's being chased around by a bunch of lunatics, we can't let them get to her! Unfortunately, we're a little short on leads right now. Not to mention, the day's grown long. You two can stay at my hotel, and we'll try again. <laughs> yeah? Will that be okay? 
Not like you have anywhere else to go, right? Uh, no kidding. Thanks. That work for you, Tomizawa? I, I'm pretty much dead if I go home now. Yamai's probably got it under watch. Then it's settled. We'll call it from here. Tomizawa joined the party. Okay, cool, cool. Audio. Said way louder, right? Let's see if that works. We need to slow down. Is that outdoor shogi in Hawaii? Maybe I ought to check it out. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Gonna talk to this fellow though. Oh, what's this? Great paper blessing. Take to Kamalope at the shrine and you can exchange it for four fortune points. Kamalope! Remember, Kamalope. Best fortune? Does someone for, from a shrine drop this? Oh, that's where it went. Thanks for picking that up, pal. So, Dallas, I, uh... I think you're back now from the commercial. Um... How's the how's the game audio now? Jeez, don't scare me like that. The one in a giant monster suit. Hey, I resent that. I'm the world famous Kamalope jerk. Don't you know I'm posted up at the shrine here? I, I can turn the game audio a lot more uh, to try to get it closer to my voice if it if it's still low. Uh, I, I know you had to turn the stream down and I do that on purpose because everyone has different volumes and sometimes someone don't have good headphones, you know? So they have a hard time hearing and, and that's what movies do as well. They have the audio cranked up so you don't have to turn the TV on full blast, you know? Oh, huh? Kamalope. That's a weird Kamarocho mascot, right? Wait, is that you, Ichiban? Um, yeah. Who are you? Have we met? Of course we've met. Back in Yokohama, you collected all those Tojo Clan crests for me. That's who wanted those. I never turned those in. I did? Oh yeah, that was it. This guy asked me to bring him stray crests I found to keep Tojo Clan relics out of enemy hands. Back then, he said he was wearing the Kamloop outfit to hide from the Omi Alliance. <laughs> Right, you're that former Tojo man under there. I knew you wouldn't forget. Long time no see, bud. How nuts is it to run into each other again? Here of all places. Yeah, sure is. Wait, does that mean you're still out hunting down crests in Hawaii? Ah, no, no. My respects to the clan have been paid. That chapter of my life is closed for good. Figured it was time to make a brand new start somewhere else. You know as well as I do that us Tojo guys have things to atone for. Maybe so. Yeah, 
Although it kind of feels like you're dragging the past along with you when you've still got that costume on. Oh, this? What can I say? Had the damn thing on so long that I feel that, I, that now I feel naked without it. It's got its benefits though. The priest here, he says I make for a good shrine mascot. It pays nothing to sneeze at. So now I can make a buck while staying true to my art. Plus his outfit breathes surprisingly well in the tropics. Wearing a Kamalup costume is your art now. Well hey, far be it for me to judge an honest day's work, good luck out here. Whoa, before you go? What is it? A fortune you found a second ago? If you see any more around, you think you could bring them here? Huh? Oh, I'm sure. There are others? Yeah, see, I really wanted to impress at this job, so I imported a boatload of the suckers straight from Japan. All officially Shinto blessed. They shipped to my house, and I walked over here with, with them, except, well, I had a lot of errands to run, and I kind of took the scenic route. By the time I got to the shrine, the whole bag was empty. Thing had a big ol' hole in it. Can you believe that? Think I'm starting to see where this is going. I took an advance on my salary to buy so many. I literally don't think I can live without them. Plus, you know they make the kids around here smile. So I'm begging you. These little paper SOBs are probably scattered all over the island by now. And obviously, I can't just abandon my post to go out looking for them. Alright, alright, I get it. Find the fortune slips, bring them back here, yeah? Exactly. You're a good one, Ichiban. Of course, you understand I can't pay you for this money-wise, but I also ordered a ton of prizes to trade for them. We'll do it on points. Wait, points? Four points for a best fortune, three for a good fortune, two for a modest fortune, and one for a bad fortune. Makes sense, doesn't it? There weren't that many best fortunes mixed in with the bunch, but I'll make sure it's worth it for you to find them. I mean, I get the feeling you're not here on vacation, you know. Am I wrong? Wink wink. For a guy stuck in a grinning corporate fur suit, he's actually pretty shrewd. Anyway, may the gods bless your search. Alright. We gonna do it. Can't believe I ran into the same damn comma loop all over again. Fine though. If it helps both uh, helps us both out, I'll try to recover those fortunes. Okay. No sub stories yet. I wanna try this. Oh, hang on. I can't walk. I can't auto ride anywhere. I keep running across items on the ground. Oh, this guy's got a gun. 